Hi, Air Signs. Tarot Twins here. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot today. Hi, Air Energies. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we're going to be having a look at who you'll end up with, and you will have to pick a pile, either left or right. So um, we have shuffled the cards off camera, but we'll give another quick shuffle on camera here for mm -hmm. you as well, uh, and then we'll see what comes up. So super exciting. That's right, Thanks for guys. being here. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, to check out Black Feather's page. I'll link it below. Feel um, free to drop by. Um, so yeah, take a... Take a moment to meditate exactly. on which pile. Mm -hmm. Which pile you're drawn to. Take your time. So either pile left or pile right. And that will determine the person that you'll end up with and potentially the type of relationship you'll have with them. Yeah, we'll see what we can find out. Do you want to keep, uh, get us started? Yes, let's... Give it another good shuffle for the people that chose the left, who you'll end up with. Okay, strong Aries coming through with the Sun card. Someone who's going who's to bring in a lot of light. Beautiful relationship. Okay, Aries energies come up twice in this. Um... Okay, let's have a look. So straight away, I get a youthful energy with the sun next to this person. So it's someone who has a wonderful outgoing personality. There's someone who possibly even have children or work with children. There's a very youthful energy to this person. So looking at this spread, I feel like they have um, a very youthful energy. They're a little bit cheeky, a little bit mischievous. Um, they could be an entrepreneur with the magician. So... Uh, they like to have their own business, They're someone um, independent, but they do their own thing, okay? They go against convention, against society. Bit of a rule breaker um, is what I'm getting. Um, the Seven of Swords, they, they've done it tough, okay? They, they have this mischievous energy to them. You're going to end up with someone um, doesn't, who, who doesn't like to live by rules, I don't think. Okay, it's someone quite adventurous who likes to go a bit against the grain here. Bit of a rule breaker. Bit of a rule breaker, yeah. It's someone who pushes the limits and they, they may end up someone famous because the magician is well known. Mm -hmm. So uh, this person could end up being famous, well known for their talents and, and things that they do. Um, Ten of Pentacles, it's likely that you're going to move in with this person fairly quickly or they're good with like money and responsibility. In a sense, when it comes to their finances, they seem to be quite disciplined when it comes to those areas, but they take risks in others is what I'm seeing. Two of Wands, though, is monogamy. Um, sorry, Two of Wands reversed is monogamy. It's normally when it's upright, this this presents options. And us... Um, oh, look how beautiful these cards look on camera. So shiny. So it does represent uh, having options and choosing between places, etc. People, places, connections, etc. But this is reversed, which would uh, indicate to me that this person, when they're in a relationship, they're committed. So I get the sense that you may end up with... Um, someone who will give you loyalty air signs um but there is that cheeky energy they could be quite outgoing i mean they like to go out they i, I do feel like they've um they're going to be coming from a background where they've been alone or they've been on their own for a lot of the time uh but when they meet you they'll want to have children with you or they'll want to want to build a family maybe with the sun card here um lots of lots of learning in this relationship lots of lessons that you're going to learn uh with with this person um but i feel like you'll get a lot of stability you'll be able to create we've got the star of creation here the ability to create um stability with each other so it's sort of like you're going to design your own relationship it's going to be a little bit different maybe even um you know, you're sort of going to be designing this relationship to how you to how you want it. And um, what I love here, I want to I want to mention is we've got the moon and the sun. So the moon can be Cancer. Some of you may end up with Aries, Cancer, or the moon and the sun represent the person you're going to end up with is the person you're supposed to end up with in a divine masculine and divine feminine uh, connection. So uh, that's really 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 wonderful. And I think you'll be able to stand still with this person. They're going to be your anchor. They're going to be the one mm. to sort of anchor you down, air signs, and you need that, okay? You need that sort of anchorage, and they'll be able to provide that for you. Um, you know, there may be at times where there's complications with the way in which you communicate with the Seven of Swords. This is, 
you need to work on or there's there might be advice here in the cards that you need to work on the way you talk to each other okay the way you communicate language barriers um, withholding information uh, needing to express yourself make sure this is something you look into if this is the person that um, you're going to end up with because that could be some advice here uh, for you okay for you and them but strong um, divine masculine divine feminine energy over on the left pile okay and let's he's my cue. have a look at the right pile that's right so um for those of you that have chosen the right pile that's myself we'll give the cards a shuffle and see whom you potentially might end up with oh okay you've got the two of cups oh wow the page of wands the fool the high priestess Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this looks like it's a very solid, stable, committed, loyal and dedicated relationship, partnership. A very strong sense of a union here. The Two of Cups here, this is someone whom you're going to create a very deep emotional connection with. A very deep bond. Um, a possible water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is two hearts, two minds, two souls coming together here in perfect union. This is someone who's on your, like the two of you are closely in alignment with one another. You're so in sync with one another. Um, it almost feels like a very strong psychic connection. It's like you, the two of you will know each thoughts before they even, like you'll know each other's thoughts before they even cross your mind. This person will be like your mirror, okay? They will all, it's almost like they're going to hold up a mirror to to you and they will mirror back to you maybe certain flaws or insecurities i see that this is a very deep connection one in which i feel like will challenge you but it will definitely help you grow and evolve nevertheless your person's energy feels like they've got a very light-hearted energy okay someone who shares very similar passions and interests someone whom you're going to deep who you're going to sorry bond with very deeply here um page of ones look it could be a younger energy this person could be younger than yourself if there isn't that age gap then this is definitely someone who's coming in um with a lot of energy to expel someone very um youthful someone very adventurous um this is someone, I feel like this relationship, this connection here, could possibly be the most adventurous one you've ever had yet. This is going to, it might start off as a whirlwind romance, or it may just be someone who's going to take you on this adventure where everyday life with them, life with them will be so exciting and adventurous. This person has a very nomadic energy to them, okay? Meaning that I feel like either this person is constantly um, moving. This may not be someone who's had um, previous long-term relationships. This may be someone who's a little bit hard to pin down, okay? They're, um, it's not that they're a non-committal type of energy. It's not so much that. It's just that they're so restless here. They're always on the move. They're always on the go here. It'll take them a really special someone, you're, like yourself, to really pin them down here. Um, they've got a very strong feminine energy as well. So even if they're um, um, like a masculine energy here, they've got like they're in touch with their... Uh, like in a feminine energy, in a feminine side here. Um, this is someone who I feel like I'm seeing a lot of collaboration with your energies, meaning that I feel like the two of you will come together. You're a team, okay? You are a team here. You're a, un um, you're a union here. It's a partnership. Um, this is someone whom you're possibly going to get engaged to or get married with. I also feel like you're building something together, okay? The Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the mm -hmm. two of you are building something stable here the 10 has come up twice so i think either way air signs you're going to be building some solid foundations with both of these connections exactly there's that that link that you'll have in common here solid foundations i'm also seeing business so i'm seeing some sort of partnership the mm. two of you in the future could build a business together a family business that you might you know get get kick started and then have it running in the family here um this is someone who i need you to know that this person is very close to their family and friends in fact they come from a very large family um, I also feel like maybe they already have a family business going or they actually want to get a family business going and then you come into the picture and then you know everything just falls into place um, but someone very close to family and friends this is someone I mean to them family and close friends are a big deal okay and this is someone who I feel like um, they have there's a lot of values here okay they have a very strong system of values and um, morals and ethics that they abide by so someone very respectful someone very um as i've mentioned dedicated loving and committed here 
all right guys so this is pretty much um your reading here we just want to thank you all for watching and for listening um thank you for your support if you are interested with a reading uh, in a reading with myself and felicity tarot please feel free to reach out and inquire um just email either one of us with the subject line tarot twins here otherwise guys we of course will be sharing with you more tarot love messages throughout the week so do stay tuned um thanks again thanks guys bye for now